So in this video, uh, we've got the probability that a marksman hits the bullseye is 0.12 for each shot, and each shot is independent of all others. And you might already be thinking, well, that doesn't seem quite right. Wouldn't it be that the more shots that you take, the better that you would get? That is one criticism of this model already. Okay, so just, uh, just to be clear, I, I fully understand that, and that might be something that you would have to discuss within the paper. So part A, find the probability that the marksman hits the bullseye on the fifth shot. Okay, well, let's assume that we do have a geometric distribution with a probability of 0.12. So find the probability that the marksman hits the bullseye on the fifth shot, so x is equaling 5. And so that would be 0.88, the probability that he doesn't hit it, uh, to the power of 4 times by the probability 0.12. So 0.88 to the power of 4 times 0.12. And that is equal to 0.0720 to four decimal places. OK, part B. Find the mean number of shots before the bullseye is first hit. So essentially, this is asking for e of x which is equal to 1 over p, so 1 divided by 0 0.12. And that gets us 25 over 3, which is approximately 8.33. OK, C. Find the probability of not hitting the bullseye in the first 12 shots. OK, so uh, if the marksman doesn't hit the bullseye in the first 12 shots, then that means we've got a probability of not hitting the bullseye, which is 0.88, and that happens 12 times. OK, so 0.88 to the power of 12, and we get 0.2157. To four decimal places. Now, part D, find the most likely number of shots until he hits the bullseye. Well, if we took a look at the distribution, so the probability that he hits the bullseye on the first shot is 0.12. The probability that he hits it on the second shot is 0.88 times 0.12. And so that's 0.1056. The probability that he gets it on the third shot will be 0.88 squared times 0.12. And that gets us 0.092928. Okay, so... As you continue, because each time you're multiplying by 0 0.88, these probabilities decrease. So if you were to draw the distribution, what would it look like? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. And here's the probability of x being equal to r. So it starts out at 0 0.12. And then it's going to keep on decreasing. OK, so it's going to get closer and closer and closer to zero each time you multiply by 0 0.88. So the most likely number of shots until he hits the bullseye is one. So with a geometric distribution, uh, probability of x being equal to one will always be the largest of all the probabilities. And so one shot is uh, the most likely number of shots he needs until he hits the bullseye. 